This radio station is called WDBE. Yeah. Let me tell you the story about this. You know, before I was on WDBE, she was here for play, this last night. Well, oh, she was great last night. She was perfect. Without her, I wouldn't have made it. And uh, <laughs> I'm serious. I for started the playing at the Pittsburgh in 1982 at this place called the Decade. Yeah. Now, oh, I don't know if you know the deal on the Decade, but you know that the Big owner hair. of that place was Dom DeSilvio. Yes. Dom DeSilvio, the deal I heard was that when there was a big numbers bust up there or something, he didn't roll over and he went and did his two years in Danbury, and the guys gave him the club as his, his reward. <laughs> this is what I heard, and it's fairly common knowledge, so I don't feel bad talking about it over a microphone, yes. but it was an interesting place. Um, he told me about how he almost burned Sting's bus because he didn't like the people in the police. Um, but he liked me, thank God. Yeah. And uh, so he hired me for about five years, and then I did this horrible comedy club gig, and I was... I had to go somewhere, and they it said, you want to be on the radio in the morning? And oh, I said, yeah. sure, whatever. I wrote this song called Friend from Hell, and it was a, roughly about an old girlfriend, that one in particular. But anyway, this song made me a bona fide rock star. For about 10 years in Pittsburgh, I sold out, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of seats, and I used to play at the comedy, or what's that, the Funny Bone. The Funny Bone. And I would just get up and do this song, and about three others, and there was a, a, a restaurant chain called Eaton Parks. <laughs> You know oh, that one? With the, long, that song? with the I, long I green a song dress. A fancy yes, sir. about the, they're kind of like it's a Denny's, but the girls are all these long green dresses. You, you know what Eaton Park, have you ever seen an Eaton Park? Don't have uh, no. Like, but kind of, you got the idea, it's like a like a Bob Evans or one of those kind of real wholesome Elbies. places. Elbies. So for a guy like me to sing songs about it, there's something kind of not right about it, you know, but it's like, uh, let's see. I came home last night, I laid in the dark, thinking all about my waitress at the Eaton Park. I need a little gravy on my lonely French fry. Mama, won't you give me that hot cherry pie? You can have Madonna's latest video mess. I want to eat and park a mama in the long green dress. Let me see what I can remember. I eat and park, honey. My heart, you're a winning. My secret sauce is dripping. And my scrod is swimming. I used to love that word, scrod. <laughs> scrod. Oh, look at the one eye scrod. That's right. <laughs> Hey, Mark, honey, 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 your ass is driven. Scrod and swim, sit me in your section. That's what I want. Let me pile the shape of him on your love for the sun. If Elvis was here, he'd have to confess. I got a hooker bird of love with a long green dress. The girls at McDonald's just make me mix sick. The ladies at Wendy's all want my discount coupons. The long dark silver estate, too bad looking. My eating park, honey, there's always something special cooking. Well, they sit me in your section. That's, That's what a I want when I see. Let's watch across the breakfast bar in a horizontal mumbo. Don't you think when we can make a great little combo? My alamode is melting. My coffee needs creaming. Your buns are cold and that chili needs steaming. I'm in love with the waitress with a name tag on a dress. A Eaton Park mama, a Eaton Park senorita, a Eaton Park who was that to spill the chocolate sauce all over that table? Yes, it was me. I'm a naughty little boy with that Eaton Park food service tablet. Naughty little ribbon. Made me the hit. I, I did a song at 7:30 in the morning on this piece of shit Casio, and for all the years I struggled and weighed all these places and paid my dues and tried to do the authentic blues and doing everything. The song that just made me money hand over fist out the wazoo. I made. God, I must, I think I was walking out and there were like 10,000 bucks for two nights. I couldn't believe it. All of a stupid song that went like this. I don't know. Go figure. Like a robin that grew to leave its nest. I guess our parting was for the best. The tears I've cried not so long ago are the raindrops in the fall. To make a quality, not just any, but a quality friendship grow. We're going to be that dreaded F word, friends. Though as lovers will cease. Here's wishing you well. I, I hope you find happiness and inner peace. <laughs> and along your journey, I hope that you develop a dependence on Peter Paul Mounts. Somewhere you develop ugly patches or gross facial hair. Your scalp starts to flake, your buttocks extends. I'm not mad, sure, let's be friends. <laughs> just friends, just friends, you and I are gonna be. I'll be friends with you. You'll be friends with me. It's exciting, it's 
Disney. Call her newly swell. Count on me to be your incredible friend from hell. <laughs> I'm your friend. I'm your. Sorry. Okay. So they just lose it right in the middle. They just. Kind of it right out the condo that you bought because your life's no longer static. Go out to be next door to a wild-eyed fanatic. Woods behind the house that bring the warmth to your heart. Get pulled over over for the new Walmart. Holy rollers move in and shout loud, "Amen!" I'm warm and fuzzy because we're still friends. Just friends, just friends, that's the way it's gonna be. I'll be friends with you, everybody. See, now the thing is, this song is kind of screwed up and hateful as it is. Probably reminds you of somebody in your life somewhere okay. along the way. Maybe not somebody that you're okay. with right now, but somebody along the way. Right. And so I want you to think of that person and just think of that person and maybe think if they're the ones that dumped you, if they're the ones that stuck you with the phone bill, if they're the ones that messed up your credit rating. <laughs> think of that person like I sometimes do and I can say, I'll be friends with you and you can be friends with me and sometimes focus my energy on where they might be in the universe right now. So think of the person that did that and we can get rid of some of the negative stuff you might be holding in with you. Here we go. Just friends, just friends, the way it's going to be. I'll be friends with you. You be friends with me. See now, you feel a little better. I feel already. Better. I do. Yes. You can sort of kind of say it with a little bit more like, "You be friends with me." And I have proof that if you do it just right, somewhere in the world, if you do it right now, their butt cheeks will just kind of go eat like that for a second. There's the weirdest little thing. It's like this harmonic thing. If you can get it just right, so just think, eat like that. You ready? Here we go. I know this is a little different than singing. Hey, hey, the blues is all right, but stay with me, all right? Just friends, just friends, the way it's going to be. Call it really swell. Count on me to be. I always want to be the $500 phone bill. I guess you needed space. I always want to be your incredible friend from hell, from hell, from the deepest, darkest hell. Just friends. This song. The original song was by a guy named um, who was the guy that did it? It was the piano player um, Roy Hall did this song originally, and it went. Twenty nine million on a nuts, somebody beating on the ding dong. Shit. 
shake, baby, shake, shake, make it shake, shake, baby, shake, shake, baby, shake, come on over, a whole lot of shaking going on, and you play it like this. where he uses this minor third. And for some reason he took it and he, it's not that hard a chord, but what he did was he opened it up and he got this characteristic thing that's a real edgy. And he kind of leave it like... as always, reminding you that when you go through life, steak and cows make a real tasty burger, you just got to know what temperature to cook them over at. <laughs> cook them over at. Let me try that again. Let me use my standard clothes. So once again, friends, this is just truly Urban Billy Seawards, director of the first house of polyester worship and horizontal throttle teenage desire. And our lady, the white go-go boot, the lord of the 41, like the lady, bubbling lava lamp, apocalyptic, no pizza, take out of the 12, shrine of the Ric Flair, woo! Wrestling Jesus, Aiky Breaky Love Tabernacle from Sunny Coco Beach, Florida, reminding you that sacred cows make a real tasty burger. You just got to know what temperature to flip them over at. One man sushi is always the next bell fish bait. Two wrongs don't maybe, maybe, maybe two wrongs never made nothing match except maybe in Fayetteville, North Carolina, on a Friday night. Number four, when in doubt, remember the words of my granddaddy who used to say, "Billy, just remember there ain't but three kinds of people in this world: those who can count and those who can't." <laughs> Number six, when in doubt, remember the words of my granddaddy, words he used to say, Billy, never judge a man until you walk a mile in his shoes. That way, if he's an asshole, you have his shoes and you're a mile away. <laughs> Number seven, if you can't get rid of them skeletons in your closet, by God, you better teach him how to dance, buddy. <laughs> Number nine, never sweat the petty stuff, but always pet the sweaty stuff. Number ten, ladies are pretty much like kitchen towel, lay us right the first time and you can walk all over us the rest of your life. <laughs> That always goes over good chat for real. And last but not least, as I look around the room, I have a feeling this is one y'all are going to be able to relate to. And I used to say it out of fun, but now as I close in, as I'm closing in on 60, I turned 59 about three weeks ago. I realized that, as I used to say, and as always, I get real serious and say, you know, and always remember that you're going to have your ups and your downs, and it's never going to go quite the way you figured it would go. But as you go through life, always remember that it is better to have loved and lost than to have to live with that fucking psycho for the rest of your life. <laughs>